Now, it was a big night for British boxing last night, both inside and outside the ring. You may have seen these pictures. Derek Chisora lost a world title fight against Vitaly Klitschko in Munich, but was then involved in a brawl with rival David Hay. So that's what happened. German police are now questioning Chisora. Chisora's promoter, Frank Warren, has just arrived back from Munich and he joins us live from Stansted. Frank, good, good afternoon to you. Um, what happened? Um, what happened? Well, there was a... David Hay came along to the press conference and uh, from there some... to and frame was going between him and, him and Derek and eventually uh, it led to a bit of a, a brawl between uh, a few people and uh, as a result of that, um, last night, Derek was uh, uh, was uh, questioned by the police, and today they've asked him to make a statement. And I understand once he makes the statement, they'll release him to come back to the UK. How could the situation have arisen? You know you've got volatile people that you deal with, Frank. You deal with them every day. Uh, how was that situation allowed to happen? Well, first of all, let's establish it wasn't my promotion. You know, I managed Derek Ch Ch Chisora. And we were sitting on the top table and David Hay arrived at the press conference. Um, he wasn't a participant in the fight. The press conference was uh, regarding what happened previously between Vitaly Chris Klitschko and uh, Derek Chisora. And uh, from there it just developed when, uh, when um, David Hay was first of all bad-mouthing uh, Vitaly Klitschko and then turned his attention towards Derek. Emotionally, how do you feel today after what this is doing to boxing? I'm absolutely, um, use the old proverbial uh, cliche, gutted about it all. You know, the sport doesn't need it. It's, uh, it's unacceptable. Um, there's no excuses for it, and, I, and I'm not going to be an apologist for it. I'm just uh, I'm totally as uh, dismayed and uh, probably um, you know, feel about as bad as anybody. Can these people, and when I say these people, I mean the boxers, both, both these two tonight and, and others that you deal with, can they be talked to and, and told that what they are doing is damaging? Or, or are they in their own little bubble where their egos are, are pumped up and so enormous that they do feel they can behave like this? Well, well it's, it's not the norm, that's for sure. You know, there are, there are uh, hundreds of contests going on um, in the course of a month around the world, and this very, very rarely happens. Um, you know, boxing, as you say, it's an emotional. They're hardly, they're athletes. They're highly charged. They, you know, in, they have to control themselves. That's part of their discipline, and they should be, and that should be the case at all times. But it happens in not just in boxing. It happens in all sports. We've seen it re recently in, uh, in, in, in in soccer. We've seen some, you know, some bad incidents over the past few months. And I can even re recollect with Eric Cantona attacking a fan. You know. There are moments of madness and people sometimes get caught up in that moment. That's, that's not an excuse, it just happens. And what we have to do, I think, as a sport, as boxing is concerned, is to try and do our best to ensure it doesn't happen again. Absolutely. I mean, the governing body will look at it. Do you think that um, Chisora, who, who does still have a licence, should be banned? I mean, what, what do you think the action should be that is taken? Well, I think everybody's got to look at the, the film and video evidence. There's quite a bit of it, and I know the, uh, the uh, German police were, were reviewing that overnight. Um, once they, once uh, they call a hearing, once they re look at the evidence, and once they maybe listen and hear some of the uh, statements from actual proper eyewitnesses, then they'll determine what, 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 the, uh, what, what, what they will do about it. But something obviously needs to be done. Um, the fact that, although I'm Derek's manager, the fact is he'd certainly as far as I'm aware and what I've seen, did not throw the first punch. But having said that, that doesn't make it acceptable because some of his behaviour before the fight was also uh, very bad. Frank, thanks for talking to us today. Frank Warren there joining us from Stansted Airport. Thanks, Frank. Right, let's get some uh, more reaction to everything that went on in the last couple of days. Uh, we can speak now to Derek Chisora's promoter, Frank Warren, uh, who joins us live on Sky Sports News this afternoon. Frank, uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. We do appreciate it. Uh, he won a lot of friends in the ring last night, Derek, that's for sure. But in terms of his behaviour outside the ring over the last couple of days, what do you have to say about the way he's conducted himself? Well, prior to the fight, a couple of inc the incident before the fight is un unacceptable. And... Uh... Nobody can condone that. After the fight and what happened uh, post-fight press conference, 
Um, I believe that until the police review all the evidence, until the British Parks and Border Control do the same, um, I think it's, it's, it's a bit strong for people to make comment on things they don't actually, they haven't seen. You know, I've seen a lot of the video evidence of, of, of last night, with the police, with the police last night, um, to, they said today they were going to take you going. Uh, we will uh, get back to Frank Warren very shortly, as you can tell, just having a few sound problems there, but uh, we will try and get back to Frank Warren shortly, sort that out and, and continue our conversation with him in just a couple of minutes. Uh, now, okay, let's get back to, uh, or try and get back to uh, Frank Warren, Derek Chisora's promoter about the uh, brawl after last night's uh, fight uh, with Vitaly Klitschko. Uh, Frank, let's try again. Sorry, I had a few sound issues there. Um, you were just telling us that you, you've seen, uh, you've sat down with the police and looked through some of the footage. What did you make, or talk us through your view on what happened in that, in that press conference last night? Well, I was on the top table and uh, what happened was that David Hay um, challenged Vitaly Klitschko to fight him. He made a lot of comments towards him. There was a lot of to and froing. And Bernd Bond, who is the manager of uh, Vitaly Klitschko, said that he's got no chance of fighting him. Why don't you fight Derek Chisora? And then I said to uh, Bond, um, if they were to fight, could the, would the winner get a chance back at Klitschko? And he nodded. And from there, it just got into some stupid banter, which culminated into what you see on television. And we saw from the pictures that as soon as Chisora stood up, you seemed to ask one of the security staff to go with him. Were you thinking then that it could develop into what happened? No, I actually, as his trainer, Don Charles, I just said, can you get hold of Derek? No, actually, I said, get him and bring him back. You know, you, you, I've seen a lot of uh, video footage. I've seen... Uh, some telephone uh, clips that were, were taken of the, the fracas, as had the police. Um, they were with us till about three o'clock uh, in Munich yesterday morning uh, at the hotel. They said they wanted to speak to Derek in the morning. There may be a, they, he may be able to leave the country or not. Uh, what happened then was that um, he, um, as you know, was at the airport. They asked him to go back to the police station, which he's done, and he's uh, assisting them in, in uh, their inquiries. Um, a lot of people are making comment of, what's, of what they think happened without actually knowing or seeing the, the actual footage. And I'm quite sure if you see some of the stuff and some of the photographs, um, you'll see that it wasn't actually Derek who threw the first punch. Not that I'm condon condoning or trying to stick up for him. What happened was outrageous and it was wrong, but he certainly did not throw the first punch. Glenn McCrory we spoke to um, a short time ago, he said it's an embarrassment for British boxing what happened last night. Would you say the same? Would you agree with that? I would say so. It was an embarrassment that happened to British boxing. There's, uh, you know, it's not the first time it's happened. It's ha it happens on uh, very rare occasions, but it has happened, and uh, it's brought the sport into a bad light, which is a uh, which is a great shame for all the, the the fighters that do behave, and and there are, 99% uh, of them do behave and uh, and 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 and, you know, carry a lot of uh, honour into the sport. And I understand you saying that, in your view, it wasn't Chisora that, that threw the first punch, but obviously already fined £31,000 for, for the slap on Vitaly Klitschko at the weigh-in and now involved in something like this as well, where he did actively get off the press conference table and move towards David Hay. Uh, what do you think, what needs to be said to Derek Chisora? Because from the performance he put in in the ring last first night, when all, I say he won a lot of friends, he doesn't need that sort of bad publicity, does he? Well, first of all, he wasn't fined £31,000. $50,000 of his purse was withheld pending a hearing so no, he hasn't been he hasn't been fined at all yet secondly he got off the table with, with the microphone in his hand uh, stupidly in my opinion stupidly as it turned out it was a ridiculous thing uh, that he did and it took away all what he did in the ring because actually in the ring he fought really well he was a huge underdog and he fought his heart out he done you know i think he done he done as far as the box is concerned done as best as he could he gave vitaly klitschko the hardest fight i think he's had since he fought lennox lewis it was only the fourth time that Vitaly Klitschko had gone 12 rounds, and he actually even won the last round. It's just a, it's just ridiculous. Where you know he, there's a guy that when he gets into the ring can do so well, yet outside the ring, he gets himself involved in some really, really horrible situations. Horrible situations. And when you hear Glenn McCrory saying he's a thug who should have his license taken off him, how do you respond to that? Well, I think Glenn's making a comment again. He doesn't know what the full facts are, and he hasn't seen the video evidence. As I said, you know, he didn't throw the first punch. It's as simple as that. You look at look at it. I think a lot of it's online now. It's on YouTube. He got hit with a he got hit in the lip with a with a. He said it was a glass or a bottle. 
um, and that's what happened. And I'm sure that the police will get to the bottom with it. In Germany, they're more capable than Glenn McCrory or myself or anybody. The police in Germany, I'm sure, will, uh, will, will, will do the right thing. Just bring us up to date then. You mentioned that as far as you're aware, Derek is in police custody at the moment or helping them with their inquiries. Do you know when he might be back on British soil? I'm quite sure, they'll, I'm quite sure he'll be released uh, sometime today and I'm quite sure he'll come back today. And when he returns, what will you be saying to him, Frank? Well, we've, we've said a lot last night. I was with him in the early hours. Um, you, know, whatever I, you know, whatever I say now or said yesterday um, isn't going to change the situation. Um, you know, we need to, I think, let this, let from uh, his point of view, let this sink in to what, what position he's in and the reasons he's in the position. And then we'll deal with it as best we can and see, decide whether, you know, what his future, if he's got a future in boxing. Do you question his future in boxing at this stage? Sorry? Do you question his future in the sport at this stage? Well, I question, you know, in the ring, I don't think you can get, you, you, you can get more commitment from any fighter than Derek in the ring. It's, as I say, it's some of the silly things that he does outside the ring. Uh, you know, he, as I say, and, and I, and I emphasise, he certainly did not throw the first punch uh, in, that, in the brawl. And let's get it right, the press conference afterwards was for the participants and everybody who was involved in the promotion uh, on Saturday night. It wasn't a David Hay promotion, it was David Hay who came in and it was David Hay who started shouting off and, uh, and um, calling people out. It, I mean, he was the one who came in and did, done that. It certainly was not uh, Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora was there and he should have, you know, as, as much as some of the stupid things that happened before the fight, after the fight, should have at least been able to have his moment of, uh, which I felt was well deserved. Um, recognition for what he did in the ring, but it was all taken away in what turned out to be an ugly and a horrible uh, and dis you know, disgraceful episode. And just finally, as you questioned David Hayes' very presence at that press conference, what would you say to those who say, Frank, that this was just a bit of a publicity stunt to, to get Chisora a fight well, with Hayes? I would, say, I, I, I would say they were total idiots. I'm sure if you think somebody wants to do a, a stunt like that to be get hit with a bottle and to wind up uh, in, in a Munich police station, the other guy, so I understand, is uh, can't be found. That uh, goes beyond, I think, uh, you know, you've you, you just got to be a complete moron to even come up with a suggestion like that. Frank Warren, really appreciate you you're speaking to us. Thanks for your time today. Thank you.